Hello Matrix. This video is about an important and very specific process. Converting between the two forms of the equation of a circle, general and standard form. Recalling some basic algebra will ensure that you do this conversion with ease. In the context of this series of videos, the pre-grade 12 sections here, and now we are on the second video on circles. In this video, the technique of completing the square will be explained and mastered. Standard and general forms of the equations of lines and circles. Just as the equation of a line can be given as y equal to minus 2x plus 5 in standard form or 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 in general form. And we are familiar with the standard and general forms of the equations of a line. So too, the equation of a circle can be given either way. In the standard form, x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equal to r squared, or the general form, similar to the general form of the equation of a line, where we have a zero on the right-hand side. For example, this equation, in standard form, when multiplied out, converts to this equation in the general form. Pause to try these conversions yourself. Going from standard form to general form, and then from general form to standard form, which is going backwards. Pause to check your conversions. Going from the standard form to the general form is a fairly straightforward process, but it's not quite so simple when we want to go backwards. Starting with the general form, the first step that we take is to remove our constant term from the left-hand side and place it on the right. And then we undergo a process to reach the squares in the standard form. As seen above, we know that we need to reach these two squares. To get from x squared plus 4x to x plus 2 all squared, or from y squared minus 6y to y minus 3 all squared, how can we achieve that? Which trinomials do we need to produce these squares? We need the standard form to determine the center, minus 2, 3, and the radius, square root of 16. So, let's investigate. Completing the square. Let's start at the beginning. The square of x plus 3 is equal to x plus 3 multiplied by itself. And these products both yield the same value of 3x. So we have a doubling of the 3x giving us 6x here, and the square of 3 ultimately gives us 9. If we now take that expression and want to go in reverse, back to the square, how do we achieve that? Half 6 to get 3, square 3 to get 9. Now complete these squares. x minus 4 squared and x plus 5 all squared, and then do each of them in reverse. Now pause to check the process. When squaring x minus 4, minus 4x occurred twice, therefore double minus 4x gives us minus 8x, and 4 squared gives us 16. Similarly, the square of x plus 5 5x plus 5x is 10x, double 5x, and 5 squared is 25. So when we want to reverse the process, x squared minus 8x plus 16, we halve 8, which is 4, and we square 4 to get 16. We halve 10, which is 5, and 5 squared is equal to 25. Pause to try the following. 
what square do we want? And what do we need to add to x squared plus 2x to achieve that? x squared minus 8x, x squared plus 10x, etc. When you've tried them all, see if you arrive at this conclusion. To complete a square, are we adding half the coefficient of x squared? Now pause to check the trinomials required. What we add and the square obtained. If we have x squared plus 2x, we add half of 2 squared. So the trinomial x squared plus 2x plus 1 yields that square. If we have x squared minus 8x, we add half of 8 squared. x squared plus 10x, we have half of 10, which is 5 squared, which we add. Spend time studying all these completions of squares. And note how in each case, what we're adding is half the coefficient of x squared. Pause to study the process, converting the equation of a circle from the general form to the standard form using completion of squares. Our first step is to remove the constant term on the left and put it on the right. We then need to achieve our squares x plus 5 squared and y minus 4 squared. So we take x squared plus 10x, half of 10 is 5 squared. y squared minus 8y, half of 8 is 4 squared. So we are adding 25 and 16 on this side and therefore to balance the equation we need to add 25 and 16 on that side too. We now write down our squares, x plus 5 all squared and y minus 4 all squared. This is the standard form of the equation of a circle with center minus 5, 4 and radius squared equal to 66, therefore the radius itself, the square root of 66 units. Pause to check your answers to worked example 1. The standard form converted to the general form. And then to write down the center and the radius of the circle, the center 0, 2 and the radius equal to 3, derived from the standard form. Then the conversion of this general form into the standard form Already, we have the constant term of plus 15 moved to the right as minus 15, and we complete the square x squared plus 10x, half of 10 is 5 squared. So we add 25 here, and we add 25 on the right-hand side. There is no square needed to be completed in y squared, and the standard form is therefore that from which we derive the center minus 5, 0 and a radius of the square root of 10. Pause to check worked example 2. The equation in general form. The constant term, minus 24, placed on the right hand side. And the completion of the squares. Half of 6 is 3 squared. Half of 8 is 4 squared. So we add 9 and 16, and what we do on the left-hand side of the equation, we also do on the right-hand side. We add 9 and 16. And we arrive at the standard form of the equation of the circle, from which we can derive the center, 3, minus 4, and the radius, the square root of 49, equal to 7 units. Completing the square is quite simple, really. Lastly, Pause to check worked example 3. A bit more challenging. We have that general form, and in the first line, the constant term has been placed on the right. We add half the coefficient of x, which is a, 
a over 2 squared. And we add half of 8, which is 4, squared. And what we add on the left, we add on the right. So we add a squared over 4 plus 16 on the right-hand side. We arrive at the standard form of the equation. The center of which is then minus a over 2, 4. And in place of r squared, we have an expression in a. So we equate. And we arrive at two values for a, plus or minus 4, which we substitute in the center. The x-coordinate is minus a over 2. And then we get two possibilities for the center, minus 2, 4, or 2, 4. Thank you for listening to this important video. I trust you are now a slick computer of squares, a technique used in several areas of maths. Be inspired as you grow in confidence, understanding and mastering techniques and concepts. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.